Hello all, welcome back to Expeditiously. We're about to start the new expedition, Leviathan. Expedition 7? Wow, we just got Expedition 6. This is great. Uh, I lost power last weekend and the update came out during the week. I'm doing this on the weekend now. I've watched a couple other people playing it, so I have a couple tips and tricks known. We're going to have to go through it mostly on our own. I don't know hardly any of the milestones. I know there's a lot of rendezvous. I know they're all at galactic portals. I know we need to die. I know this is a permadeath. Sort of. Sort of permadeath. <laughs> Save. Uh, if we die, we lose all of our progress. We get all our milestones reset. Except one specific one that forces you to die as part of the milestone. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to die right away. See what happens. We might uh, we might see how close our ship is. We don't need to get the milestone for getting to it, but I'd like to see if the ship changes when we die. That would be interesting to me. So if it's easy to kill ourselves instantly, like if we're right on a cliff's edge, we'll just jump off. But if, uh, if we can head to our ship, if it's like 200 units away, we'll head over there first, then die. If, if the game ever finishes loading in. We're also going to have to initialize our expedition. So I'm also hoping that one of the features of this expedition is that some of the rewards you get are tied to how many times players have died or something like that. How many times they've reset the loop, as, as it's referred to. I don't know if our um, upgrades are going to be B class or C class, or maybe hopefully better than that. We'll see, because I have delayed myself by half a week. So lots of people have been playing this already. Hopefully, we get some good modules, because apparently they've increased the cost of modules in space stations. I, I'm not too keen on, on that. That's not a fair change, in my opinion. You got rules for the game. Follow the rules of your game. This is already enough of a challenge, especially for new players who've never played any kind of permadeath or survival. This is already a huge challenge. There's no reason to make upgrade modules cost thousands of nanites instead of the 500 they usually cost, 600 tops. Hey, is that our ship right there? Did we start at our ship? Well, that's super cool. I guess we don't got to go nowhere. Okay. <clears throat> Expedition 7, Leviathan, first contact, okay. Initialization complete. So we're going to have to get that one again, because we need to die. Uh, it says my starship. Why can't... Oh, there it is over there on the left-hand side. B15. Hmm. 15 slots is not a lot of slots. All right, let's go and die. Yeah, we're going to have to get that one again, too. No point in getting our rewards for any of this. Will that kill us? No, but we can do that again. Maybe. Maybe. Come on, game. There's also predators here, so we could maybe die to a predator if we find any of them. Oh, there's a predator. There we go. Hey, buddy. Do me a favor. Thanks. <laughs> wow, one hit. We had no shields, so that's good to know. Uh, first of all, what the predators look like. Let's see, death is not the end. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, let's go back. We're, uh, we're one minute into our save, apparently. Uh, I count almost five, but whatever, game. Whatever. <laughs> all right, so that should get us a milestone. <clears throat> we didn't really take a close look at our ship, but we'll see if it's fairly similar or not. Didn't look to be too uh, awful of a style. I think we get um, engine pods that have um, thrusters out the back. So when or if we get the new 
uh, ship trail. We'll have three of them if we get the same ship. But I only took a, a quick glance, so maybe we get the non-trail pods. We'll see. Probably going to stick with our solar ship for this expedition. Yeah, it looks like we start right beside our ship again. That's great. I, I very much appreciate that. Wait for our, uh, our body to appear. Need some legs. There we go. Okay, you have awoken. New day. Yeah, continue. Death is not the end. Loop continues. Iterate, repeat. There we go. We got a milestone for that. <clears throat> New beginning. Reached our ship. Excellent. Let's stand on it so those uh, pesky creatures can't get to us. All right, let's see what milestones we've got. I don't mind this uh, ship. It's a little bit of a pale blue. That's okay. If, like everyone else's, it has white sails, that'll look pretty cool. And yes, we do have engines that should have thrusters. Okay, so apparently standing in this fire is safer than letting animals attack us. So we will sit up here and start farming some carbon. We need that. <clears throat> we need uh, not only a hermetic seal, we need to make a creature pellet because we want to tame one of those predators if possible because that's one of our milestones and I know about it. So I'll cut down a couple trees. We're also going to need ferrite dust almost for sure for metal plating. That's, that's pure ferrite. That's carbon. That'll be ferrite dust oh yeah and we're gonna need batteries or selenium or something or other we got a geode already that's great that should get us a lot of ferrite all right let's get into the ship take stock. We also have rewards to claim, right? Yeah, I know about all this. Pure ferrite, so we need pure ferrite. Okay. Hmm, this is different than normal. All right, let's read this. I wanted it. I deserve a certain... That's what? Just for me. And this prize. Mine. Hmm. Familiar. It's probably my voice, isn't it? <laughs> um, trace the anomalies. Let's see where it's coming from. Maybe Polo? So I mentioned Polo by name. All right, that's neat. Let's take a look at our milestones and see what rewards we got. Uh, hermetic seal plant. So we need these to take off. You need to die before you can even leave the planet. So we're going to collect that. Base computer plants. That's great as well. There we go. There's our rewards. Let's go back in there. We got this one. Retrieve a past life. Absorb a memory fragment. Personal weapon. Okay, we're going to have to go find our corpse, maybe? I don't know. Let's collect our reward here first. Life support gel. See, we need this stuff. It's, it's vital. <clears throat> oh, we got a memory fragment. Okay. Oh, neat. Okay, so we don't have to go find a memory fragment. We just need to use one of these. And look, they are B-class. That's great. Uh, absorb memory. What do we got? Uh, yeah, I will take these and I'll move them. Oh yeah, look at all those tech slots. Look at that. That's useful. Oh, I can't move this till I repair it. Okay, fine. Uh, what do we get here? Package clo Okay, that goes in your multi-tool. So we got a cloaking device. That's sort of neat. I don't really want that, but meh, whatever. <laughs> I would prefer a weapon, uh, but we should get a reward, which is a weapon. Hopefully it's a scatter blaster or a pulse bitter. Uh, and we got some exosuit memory fragments as well. Let's look into that. First I want this. Uh, okay, well, we'll open it. Why is this gray? What does gray mean? Pre-built. Oh, it's tech. 
Ah, okay, so this is the 20% shield for... Um, 21%? Yeah, 21% toxic resistance. That's cool. And we have cold protection and radiation. What do we get? Yeah, in the B class. That's great, actually. Good start. <clears throat> Anything else? Let's get the geode. And install this, I think. Uh, tech. There we go. Did we not have a shield lattice at all yet? Oh, hey, we have a freighter. That's cool. Oh, no, there's our hazard projection. Okay, let's move that over for the adjacency. This is perma. We should, you know, take our time and be careful with what we're doing. Sort of. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong button, but, you know, it gets back over here pretty quick. I say, so we have a save point. You know what? We're going to put this in high capacity. Do we not have high capacity? Come on, fingers. Hit the right buttons. We have no cargo slots. Ah, well, that's a shame. Okay, I guess what? That's what we have to work on. Okay. Then in that case, what do we need? I thought we got some life support modules as well. Did we not? Are they in the starship? Oh, here we go. I don't think we want to leave these in the starship. Even if we have a matter beam, it's not that far of a range. So that should be in the... Uh, <clears throat> suit. Yep. Good, good, good. Let's put these down here. All right. What do we need to repair the ship with? We need pure ferrite and dihydrogen, metal plating, and hermetic seal. I think we can make both of those already. No, we need condensed carbon. Of course, of course we do. Metal plating here. And you know what? No, uh, let's just put that in right away. It's taking up a slot. We don't have a lot of slots right now. And over here, we will make one of these. We should only need, oh, it gives us five to make one. That's great. Okay, perfect. Um, Yeah, let's hop out of the ship. Drop down a portable refiner. We should probably look out for creatures. But we would get a symbol on our HUD. Right? Right? In theory, right? <laughs> let's put... I don't know how much carbon we have left. Probably not a lot after that. Nope. Hardly any at all. Alright, well that will go in there. We need way more carbon. Let's cut down another fire tree. <clears throat> I wonder what the secondary element is. But I'm not going to scan to find out, so... We'll just keep wondering. Seventy carbon. I can't remember how much we need. Oh, you know what? There we go. There's some condensed carbon right there. <laughs> also not enough. So that'll get us 60. That should be enough for a hermetic seal at least. I don't know what else we need. We have a storm, that's great. Not seeing any um, bad guys. While that's going, let's grab a word. We need to learn some words, I believe. So, seek help with language. We go. We learned the Viking word for Viking. Is this done yet? Yeah, close enough. <laughs> it's finished. Starship, whatever. Pick up that. Get in here. <clears throat> and Hermetic Seal. Okay, so that's the pulse engine. We need our launch thruster. Ah, pure ferret, I forgot about that part. Okay, okay. So we need this back out. 
a uh, personal refiner would be great, wouldn't it? How much do we need? 50? So... That should be enough. 16 seconds. Keep an eye out for bad guys. We're still in a storm. I don't think we have uh, storm crystals on this planet. We do need those, I believe. And are we going to need more ferrite? No, but we need uh, dihydrogen crystals. So let's hit our scanner. There's some blue. Okay, that's probably close to enough. Would have been nice to get a crystal or something. Did we ever open that geode? Overheat, of course. There's a crystal. And we could refine uh, a jelly, but why? why do that? We've got more than enough to just make one. And let's just click on this and we'll do it from here. There we go, our ship is repaired. Do we get a milestone for that? You know what, while we're here. Make a hotkey for that first things first. There we go, nice. Okay, so. Uh, we also could use another hotkey here, because I'm going to want some of these. There we go. <clears throat> and let's do one of those. We got to our ship. We got it repaired. We're on a crazy fire planet. And we got a word. And we don't want vignette. Yeah. Terrible sky here, though. Maybe we do want, like, an even heavier vignette. <laughs> There we go. Oh, uh, what am I doing there? Back out, back up. There we go, thumbnail. <laughs> so, let's check our milestones because we didn't get anything for fixing the ship. We probably just have to take off. Uh, we got our reward here, memory fragment, personal weapon. Forgot about that part. Let's see what we got. Fingers crossed, something good. Uh, pulse bitter. That's exactly what I asked for. Well, I asked for one of two things, but yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do just fine. Back to milestones. What's next? Besides not dying, glimpse the loop. Report the loop to Anomaly Polo. And we're going to get solar ray. Okay. So we're going to need space for a solar ray. Patterns. Doesn't really say, well, there's the anchor point. That's going to be the uh, milestone there for that. <clears throat> At the portal, sorry. Uh, okay, don't know what any of these mean. We're just going to have to do them in order. Let's go talk to Polo. Oh, nice round sails. Yeah, I saw that actually in the... Um, in this menu, in the ship menu. Look at that, shows us now, that's awesome. Okay, can we call in the anomaly, yes or no? We can, let's make a hockey for that. And go talk to Polo. Okay. It's an okay solar ship. I'm okay with it. It could be a lot worse. I really, I like the snows. Those engine pods are okay. 
they open it in a satisfying way. These wings, uh, the wings are fine, the, the fins or whatever on the side. The fins going up and down I dislike, but I don't mind these engine pods. They're pretty cool. Happy enough to take this solar ship through the expedition, I suppose. All right, let's just go up the stairs. I don't know that we have the jetpack to go talk to Polo that way. Hello. <laughs> Back so soon. This is the first time I talked to you. Ask about the loop. Other friends have adjusted. Is that like a reference to it being permadeath this time? That's interesting. They've got a plan. Let's try remembering. Like it's our only option, so let's do it. Anomalies, pattern in the loop, deep signal. We will look closely. Uh, oh, okay. We need to go get some stuff for Polo, I guess. I don't know where we get half of that stuff from. Uh, liquid sun we get from the solar ray. Ancestral memories and somnol dust. Okay, we will be back. Let's see what the game says. We always are. <laughs> Okay, what's our reward for that one? We get, oh, there we go, memory fragments and, oh yeah, solar ray, we already saw that. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll install that right away, I suppose. We don't have any of the stuff we need for that, so we're just going to put it in there for now and ignore it. <laughs> <clears throat> See what else we got. Here we go. What was that? Oh, uh, suit slots. Let's put them in cargo. Cargo? Yeah. There we go. Let's put some stuff into cargo. These, I don't know that we're going to gain, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know that we're going to gain more than 50 of these, but we may as well. We've got the slots for now. Uh, sodium we probably will eventually. Same with carbon, just in case. And for now, f pure ferrite. Mm. Yeah, just to take up the slot, and we'll we'll change it out for something else later. Did we have exactly enough to make one dihydrogen? That's crazy. One jelly? That's weird. Right? Yeah, peculiar. We had exactly enough. Well, that's all we needed. <laughs> all right, moving on. We need to make that solar ray. Let's go visit the space station. Oh, you know what? If they're going to make it so expensive to buy stuff, uh, maybe what we should do is actually grab some old Twitch rewards. You know, I know not everyone has access to these things, so it's not exactly fair to use them. This is not exactly a how-to. Uh, lots of people are doing guides. This is more of just a let's play, and we, on this save, have access to these Twitch rewards, so we're going to grab one hauler and scrap it, see what we get, and uh, that'll get us our units, at least, the units we need to buy, the stuff we need. It probably won't get us the nanites we need to buy anything with nanites, as far as I have been made aware, but we shall see. I mean, if it came down to it, we could scrap a whole bunch of ships. Uh, Twitch rewards, number three. Let's see. See if I can recall what order they're in. I think all the ones at the top are the newest ones, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, those are old ones. Okay, let's grab that holler at the top. I, if I recall, it was worth a decent amount. Compare. Claim ship. That's a lot of slots. Oh, should we do that instead? Scrap our solar ship? No, 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 no. We're gonna... We're, we'll, we'll make do. We'll make do with the solar ship. Limited slots. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. Uh, but we do need to switch over to that ship. So we can scrap it. That many slots explains why it's worth so many units. So do we even have enough inventory space to scrap it? Yeah, almost for sure. All right, space station, where are you? Behind me, of course, of course. No, let's target it, please. There we go. Wow, a whole minute away. We're basically just going to have time to land and scrap this thing. And that's where we'll call the first episode at. We haven't checked, like, anything out in this system at all. I don't want to pause it to go to the discoveries menu. I also would not have wanted to fly this ship. I can't stand these tails on haulers, to be honest. At least, not without some really nice tail fins. Maybe. Maybe. But I just don't like the downward angled thrusters. Because those are your main ship thrusters. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Do we have time? Seven seconds away. One second to scan. We might have time. There we go. We made it. <laughs> we got our nice music. All right, so we need that solar ray, uh, but we got nothing. We don't even have anything worth selling except this ship. So let's get to that. Uh, claim scrap worth 36 million units. That sounds nice to me. Claim scrap. There we go. A couple of A-class modules. You know what? If, if, you know what, let's look. Let's see what things cost. First of all, let's buy an exosuit upgrade. We're not going to skip out on that. Oh, we can't afford anything. We have no money. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're just going to keep those modules and install them in our ship. Right? We've got tech slots. Um... We need somebody to sell stuff to. There we go. We could have checked the GTT as well. We could change our appearance, but <clears throat> yeah, I generally don't for these expedition saves. I'm fine being a Corvax, that's fine. Offer to trade. Sell compressed Indian scraps, thank you. Now I can buy whatever I want. Five geodesite, we're not gonna need that. That's worth some money. Spool of nano cables. There's another three mil, another eight mil. We're doing good. Thermal pads. Tons of money here. These ones are not worth that much, but that's okay. Better to get the slots back. Okay, and what are you selling? Maybe you've got magnetized ferrite. No, you've got pure ferrite. We could turn that into mag. Oh, you do have magnetized ferrite. Let's buy, uh, you know what, the whole kit and kaboom. Oh, no, this is permadeath. Let's buy one stack for uh, slots worth, uh, high capacity slots. I'm just going to hold this down. We could also buy your chlorine and get rich that way, but we just got rich. We don't need to get even richer. You know what, that's enough. Okay, leave. There's our pure ferrite. Uh, we needed to earn a million units, so there we go, taking it with you. There's a milestone done. We'll collect the reward for that next time. We're just going to buy our suit slot and check the prices real quick. And we'll call it there. Cargo, please. 200,000, we can afford it. Everything's going in cargo if we can. So, what do you have for sale? 
1600 each for the, the terrible ones. Look at that S class, 5800 for a shield module. I'm sort of tempted to just scrap everything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do these sell for a lot because because they're worth a lot? No, they wouldn't have done that for us, would they? Purchase, sell, uh, ship. Where'd those A-class modules go? Oh, come on. They, they, they ripped us off. <laughs> they thought of that. Well, you know what? At least we got uh, millions of units. They didn't stop us from doing that. We're going to save it. Save that progress. We're going to make another hotkey. Very important one, I feel. Because I use it on all of my saves. And that's the wave. <laughs> that's it for today, everyone. Till next time. Have a good time.